Hello, uh, my name is Lindsay, and today I'm going to give you some tips to help you level up to gain access to Campus Four, so you can have access to the Halloween Update Part Two when it comes out. I do feel like the Halloween Update may be level locked at first, and I will tell you why. So currently, Campus Four is in Alpha, and because it's in Alpha, it is locked behind levels. You have to be level. 200 plus to enter and as you know after alpha games usually go into beta and if you guys remember all of the phases for the new school was in beta sorry i should not call it new school anymore all of the new phases for campus 3 was in beta before they went public and when they were in beta they were level locked for levels 500 plus. So it is possible when Campus 4 goes into beta, if they put it in beta, it will be level locked behind level 500 plus, or they could even increase the levels if they wanted to. And you definitely want to make sure you have access to Campus 4. So I'm going to give you some level up tips to help you level up fast. Of course, Campus 4 going into beta and being level locked behind a higher level is just a prediction. Nothing is confirmed, but I always feel like it's better to be prepared than not prepared. The first thing you want to do is keep an eye on your needs. This is something I'm very bad at, but doing your needs can level you up one to two times depending on how full the star is. So I'm just going to sleep. My energy is 100%, so let's get out of bed and hopefully I level up. So I did level up. Now I'm going to shower and eat and I like to shower and eat at the same time. I am very low on food so I need to buy some. So I'm going to start showering and I'm going to eat while my hygiene is filling up. And I just completed a quest I did not know I needed to do. And I have study shesh next. Great. Okay, my hunger is now 100%. Let's see how much it will fill up my star. So I just leveled up again. So I leveled up twice so far just by doing my needs. Okay, our hygiene is 100%. And the little star is almost filled. So after I do my needs, I like to go and do tidy textbooks before I start doing my quests. And the reason why I like to do tidy textbooks after all of my needs is because you can do tidy textbooks every 30 minutes and if you are good at the game it'll give you a lot of exp and so what i end up doing is my needs and tidy textbooks every 30 minutes so i got a score of 55 and it gave me 125 exp so i'm going to cash out and now i'm really close to leveling up and i will probably level up after i do one quest so currently the best way to level up here in royal high is doing quests so I'm going to give you some tips on how to get your quest done as fast as possible. So when you look at your quests in your planner, there are two things you should look for. The first thing is see if there are any quests you can do within the same realm. So if you have two quests you can do in the same realm, make sure you do those two quests before you leave that realm. So like for me, it might be possible to do study sesh and dreaming by the fountain at the same time if I can find somebody willing to do a study sesh in the castle entrance realm. And next, you should see if there's any quests you could do at the same time. For example, you can do office volunteer and lost and found at the same time. Or if you have your brush your teeth quest, you can do that quest while you shower or you can do hair tangles and bathroom break at the same time those are just some examples of quests you can do at the same time so that's another thing you should look for and if you are really bored of quests so tired of quests you just cannot bring yourself to do quests then you should go to the second best realm for leveling up which is royal high 2 or royal high 1 do classes in these realms and you will level up. Sunset Island levels you up. It's pretty slow, but you can do that if you are bored of Royal High 3, as well as Royal High 1 and Royal High 2. Royal Archery is the worst realm to level up in my opinion, but you can try it if you want. I hope those videos helped you level up fast so you can gain access to Campus 4 if you haven't been able to already. Also, I hope this video helps you level up fast so you can be prepared for a possible 
beta test for Campus 4 as well. And I'd greatly appreciate it if you could like, subscribe, and turn that bell notification so you never miss when I post. And I will see you in the next video. Bye!